Look, I'm going to do this once and I'm going to, and I'm, I'm not going to speak about it again. Peter Gutwin making a confronting revelation. In fact, when I was 16, I was a victim of um, child sexual assault. The boy, who would go on to a life in politics, was let down by a person in a position of power. A teacher inviting him over for a beer at age 16. Whilst I was there, they placed their arm around me and they grabbed for my groin. Um, they tried to get their hand down my pants. Now, I was big enough and strong enough to, um, to get them off me and to, um, to get away. This is a commission of inquiry. Which Peter Gutwin established Tasmania's Commission of Inquiry into the state's handling of child sexual abuse last year, following allegations of assault and cover-ups across multiple government departments. I have great empathy because I've walked in their shoes. He first pushed for an inquiry by crossing the floor as a new MP nearly two decades ago. I haven't spoken to anyone about the motivations behind why I crossed the floor in 2002, why I feel so passionate about having this commission of inquiry and once and for all getting to the bottom of these matters, but they are very personal. The Premier's revelations followed questions over whether he'd reprimand ministers for their conduct in Parliament on Thursday. Premier, the victim survivor who watched you yesterday said she saw you, and I quote, show no empathy, no warmth, or even mention the victims. Oh, I beg your pardon, Coming I'm directly you. quoting a victim survivor. Yeah. How insulting. I truly believed that uh, there was any intent to maliciously uh, damage or hurt the person involved, then I would have dragged them into the parliament myself yesterday. The Premier did apologise in parliament and has been ruminating since. To have a victim survivor that, um, that felt that this government uh, wasn't being supportive um, was something that, um, that, as I say, deeply troubled me. It's one of the first nights that I've lost sleep for a long period of time. Peter Gutwin says he's reached out to the victim survivor. I know what the loss of trust feels like. I know what the shame feels like. And state political reporter Alexandra Humphreys joins me now. Ali, the Premier's disclosures come as the state readies itself for the Commission of Inquiry's public hearings. What's the significance of this moment? Well, Alex, we've seen a series of harrowing stories of child sexual abuse from within Tasmanian institutions emerging with regularity over the last couple of years. In particular, we've seen concerns that the Education Department shielded pedophiles, uh, allegations against staff at the Ashley Youth Detention Centre and the fact that pedophile nurse James Jeffrey Griffin was able to work on the Launceston Children's Ward for years. And the Premier's personal revelations today speak to the fact that abuse against children in this state has been far more widespread than many people would have imagined across a number of decades. The Commission of Inquiry is due to resume hearings in May and it's set to be a reckoning for this state. OK, Alexandra Humphreys, thank you. And if you or someone you know needs help, please contact 1800 RESPECT by phone or their website. Or if you're experiencing distress, please contact Lifeline on 13 11 14.